In this video, I'll show you the capabilities of VEWare. VEWare is a free tool accessed by the IES plugins to either Google SketchUp or Autodesk's Revit platform. Okay, so firstly we need a 3D model from either of these sources. I'm using a SketchUp model where the setup in terms of constructions and systems has been defined already. Okay, so when I've decided I'm happy with the model setup, I can click for VEWare on the IES plugin toolbar. This instantly activates IES's free carbon and energy calculator. And remember that SketchUp is also free, so this really is an easy way for everyone to get involved in designing energy efficient buildings. Now for the easy bit. All you have to do here is select your building type from the 2030 results section. Okay, so I'm going to select fast food. Okay, in addition, you have to select your cooling and heating fuel from the drop down. Okay, so just select the most suitable for your building type. And also we have the weekly operating hours, the default being 65. Here you can set a simulation name, so if you want to use run 1 or run 2, then you can compare results. Okay, let's run the simulation. And you can see it go through each month of the year. However, I've purposefully shortened the simulation time slightly, so we can get straight to the results. Okay, once the report has been generated, you'll notice that um, take on the same format as the toolkit's output. If you're unsure of anything, we've very helpfully provided guidance notes on the right-hand side. In the middle, you'll see the results, and anything in red is the important stuff. So, so here, within the energy and carbon results, we have projected energy use and carbon emissions. Remember, it's, the, it's based on the settings from SketchUp. We've not changed anything yet. You also have a breakdown for your systems, lighting, and equipment. Here we have results for the Architecture 2030 Challenge. This essentially provides a roadmap of targets for US building projects with the aim to be carbon neutral by 2030. The building energy use intensity is the overall building energy in the context of the flow area. This allows the building performance to be compared against the CBEX database for that building type. This comparison allows the compliance with the 2030 Challenge to be assessed. Okay. Let's take a note of this number here for proposed building energy use, 668. And remember, you can change the units depending on your building preference settings. Now, in SketchUp, I'm going to make a real quick change to the glaze construction element. Within set building properties, I'll edit exterior windows to a higher performance double glazed unit. OK, select from the drop down, click to save. And again, from the IES plugin toolbar, select VEWare. OK, follow the same procedure. Click OK to run the simulation. And we can very quickly see results for that second iteration. Results show a reduction in energy use from 668 to 608. So we've successfully improved our building performance. This has been an introduction to VEWare. For further YouTube videos on capabilities of IES software, please see the IES website. Thank you.